Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the readable question maximum number of vowels in a substring of given length. So you are given string s and the integer k, return the maximum number of vowel letters in any substring of s with length k. Vowel, vowel letters in English are a, e, i, o, and u. So let's see the example. So you are given this string and uh, k equals 3. So output is 3 because uh, in this case substring i 3i so here contains three vowel letters so that's why in this case uh, we should return three before i start my explanation so let me introduce my channel so i create uh, a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews i explain all the details of all questions in the video and you can get the code from github for free so please subscribe my channel hit the like button or leave a comment thank you for your support Okay, so let me explain with this example. So this is an input string and the k equals 3. So to solve this question, uh, we use a, a windows, uh, sliding window technique. But uh, before that, um, we initialize uh, a few variables. So one is a max uh, vowels and uh, another is uh, current vowels and both are initialized with 0. And uh, I create a vowels list um, with set and the y set. So in Python, uh, set is implemented by um, a hash table. So we can look up uh, data with constant time uh, average, like O1. So that's why. And uh, uh, so we use a uh, um, uh, usually two pointer, and uh, but uh, I only use a uh, one pointer. So let's say R, so right pointer, and uh, start from index 0. And uh, basically we iterate through all character one by one. So let's begin. And the uh, current character is A. And uh, first of all, uh, look at the uh, vowels list. And uh, there is A in um, vowels. So in that case, add a plus one to current vowels and one. And then, uh, actually, there is another condition, but uh, let me explain when we reach um, index 3. And then, in this case, max vowels should be 0 versus 1. So, 1 is uh, bigger than 0. So, update max vowels uh, with 1. And then, move next. Next, we find a B, and uh, there is no B in vowels list. So, move next. And uh, we find C. And C is not in vowels list, so move next. And then we find I and then check the vowels list. There is. So in this case, add a plus one to current vowels. And then now we reach three. So there is another condition. So right pointer is greater than or equal K. And uh, uh, right minus k in this case three minus three and then look at the zero and uh, so zero character is in vowels uh, list in that case uh, we add minus one to current vowels so in this case we find a and there is a in vowels list so add minus one to current vowels so now one so that's because so max window length should be three right so now we are index three right so max length window length should be like a like this uh, from one to three so actually zero is already out of bounds and uh so um so now one but uh this one, so I already delete this one, is uh, uh, came from um, index 0, right? So now 0 is out of bounds. So that's why we have to uh, subtract minus 1 from current um, bars because uh, that is out of bounds. So that's uh, like a second condition. And then um, compare current vowels one and the max vowels one so we don't do anything because they are same and then move next we find uh, another i and uh, 
me find the i in vowels list and then add a plus one to uh, two and then uh, so r is greater than or equal k right and after that <laughs> that condition uh, always meet and then uh, r minus k so four minus one is one so we find b b is not in vowels list in that case uh, we don't have to add minus one to current vowels so that's because uh, this is not vowels so current window should be like like this so index one is out of bounds but uh, b is not um, vowels so in that case we don't do, we don't have to do anything so second so what i'm trying to do for second uh, with second condition is that you know, we just check the left side of window and then uh, uh, decide whether we have to like subtract um, minus one from current uh, vowels so it depends on uh, like a vowels or not and then uh, so before move uh, next so current vowels is two and the max is one so now two and then move next and then we find another i and the i is in the vowels list so add plus one to current vowels and then check the five minus uh, three so look at two c is not vowels so we don't do anything and then check the max vowels versus current vowels and two versus three so max is now three and then move next r uh, is now six and uh, so we find a d and uh, there's no d so in that case uh, we don't do anything and then six minus three and uh, three look at three three is i so i is a uh, in the vowels list so in the case r minus one to current vowels two and then uh, compare max and the current and the max is three so we don't do anything so now um six from six to four right before that like uh, from three to five <laughs> we don't do anything three i so that's why three but uh, now um, we find d so now current window is like uh, from four to six so that's why um this i is already out of bounds so that's why um subtract minus one from current vowels so now two looks good and then move next we find e and uh, there is e in vowels list so in the case uh, the plus one to current vowels and then uh, seven minus three and four and the four is a i and the, there is a i in vowels so in the case so add minus one to current vowels and then uh, compare three versus two but the three is a bigger than two we don't do anything and then move next and we find f so f is not vowels so we don't do anything and eight minus three and five so uh, five is i so vowels so in the case r minus one to current vowels uh, current vowels and then compare three versus one we don't do anything and then we finish iteration so after that we just return um, three in this case yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, create a vowels list. Uh, we set and uh, so a e 
type OE. And then um, max bars and the equal um, current bars and the initialize with zero and uh, start looping for right in range and the length of s and the first condition is if s right the right character in um, bars in that case uh, the plus one to um, current bars so plus equal one and the second condition is if right is greater than or equal k and the s in the right minus k that means uh, left side of window uh, in bows in that case um, that character should be out of bounds so current um, bows mi minus equal one and after that, upgrade max bows and equal max and the max bows versus current bows. And then I didn't explain in the previous section, but if max bows equal k. In that case, um, that is uh, like a max substrings, so that's why we should return k. And then after that, just return max bows. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is a length of input string s. So this is because um, this solution iterates over input string s only once from left to right using a sliding window approach, so that's why. And the space complexity is order of one. Um, that, that's because um, this code uses only constant amount of extra space to store the variables like uh, vowels, max vowels, and the current vowels. So that's why space complexity is order of one. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.